Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon video. And in today's video, I have a super awesome tip that'll help you guys find rare Pokemon. Pokemon that do not normally spawn in the Alola region. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. And if you have any questions, then drop them down below. Now to begin with, if you guys open up your menu and you go to the second page on your bottom screen, you will have the option to scan QR codes. This is unlocked after a little bit of progress in the game, so if you are at the very, very beginning, you won't quite see it, but it won't be long before this shows up. However, when you do have this option, what you can then do is you can scan QR codes. Now, every single Pokemon in the game has a unique QR code, as do the shiny versions of those Pokemon. Some people have even reported that you can scan completely random QR codes and the game will still use them, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to work with QR codes for the Pokemon in the game. And in the description box down below, I have linked you guys to an article on VG247 that has an embedded post from Reddit in it, and that has 472 QR codes for Pokemon in Sun and Moon, that is both the normal and the shiny versions. You can then go and scroll through those pictures and use them to scan the code. Now the reason you want to do this is because you can scan 10 QR codes a day, and every single time you scan one, you get 10 points. Once you have 100 points, you unlock the ability to use the island scan feature. Now the island scan feature is a feature that will scan the island you are currently on, and it will locate a rare Pokemon that does not normally spawn in the Alola region. And these can even be some of the early gen starters, things like Charmander, Torchic, Bulbasaur, Totodile, Cyndaquil, Anything like that, you can find these through this system. You can also find other Pokemon, as you'll see in the demonstration in this video, I actually find Litwick. But either way, they are rare Pokemon that do not normally spawn in Alola. What will then happen is once the Pokemon has been found, you will then be given one hour to go to a particular location and you then run around in the grass and normally your first random encounter in that particular area will then be that Pokemon. Now it's worth noting, when you do encounter this Pokemon, you will only have one chance to catch it. If you defeat it or it runs away, then you're going to have to wait until the next day because you can only scan 10 QR codes a day and by extension only use the island scan feature once a day. So make sure you don't mess this up. Also do bear in mind it scans the island you are currently on. So for example, in this demonstration I'm on Mele Mele Island. Now I've actually made quite a bit of progress in game and my team is around level 35. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is if you're going to be on somewhere like Mele Mele, then chances are it's going to give you level 10 Pokemon. So do not go into this battle with a high level team, unless of course you have a Pokemon with the move full swipe, in which case you're fine. But for the purpose of this, I went to my box and grabbed a Pokemon that was level 9, Picky Peck, standard Pokemon, something that I knew would definitely not kill it, and you then go on your search. It is also worth mentioning that you do not want to use this scan feature if you haven't made enough progress on the island, because if it tells you that the Pokemon is located in a portion of the island you have yet to unlock, and it will take you longer than an hour to get there, then again, if the timer expires, you have also wasted your opportunity. So what I would recommend is only do this on islands that you have complete access to, so that way there is no risk of you not being able to get it. But either way, it's as simple as that. Activate the QR feature, scan 10 QR codes, and as I said, you can find a link to an article down below that'll have 472 QR codes. I'm not too sure just yet whether you can reuse QR codes, but either way, even if you can't, that is 47 days worth of QR codes, so that is 47 Pokemon, and once you've scanned them all, you then simply select the island scan feature, scan it, it will then bring up a silhouette of the Pokemon it's found, and it will tell you in the text box where you need to go. So in my case, I was told to go to Haoli Cemetery. So I flew over there, you walk there, you go to the nearest area, you then walk into some grass, randomly encounter a Pokemon, and that first encounter should be your Pokemon. From that point on, it is pretty standard. Whittle its health down, use a Pokeball, catch it, and it's yours. Simple as that. So... That is it. That is your tip, guys. That is how you can find rare Pokemon that do not normally spawn in the Alola region using QR codes. Hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Be sure to share this with your friends if you guys know anyone that are hunting Pokemon right now. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.